Katie. Eddie's just said off camera there, um, that's the best he's seen you box. Mandatory defences can be tricky nights if you don't take them seriously and taking nothing away from Miriam Gutierrez, but you looked a level above in there tonight. Just how satisfied are you with your night's work? Yeah, I'm very, very satisfied. I thought it was a great performance. Um, she was very, very tough. I was definitely trying my best to get her out of there at times, but she just kept firing back. Uh, she was very, very durable. She was obviously bigger and stronger than, than, than I was. Um, but unfortunately, I just couldn't get her out. I would have loved, loved to have to get her gotten a stoppage um, today, but overall, it was a great performance. And um, I, I, I never went to any fight complacent because you know, she was actually a very, very heavy handed. She could punch a small bit. And if you go and complacent against those kind of girls, that's when you actually get beaten. So um, I, was, I was very, very happy today. It's not like you're guilty of slow starts, but that was a super fast start. Was that pre planned? It wasn't really pre planned, but um, I seen that I, I kind of hurt her in the first 30 seconds. And um, I thought I could get her out in the first round, but how, how wrong it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was. She was very, very strong, very durable. and. Um, I just had to take my time a, a bit more in there from, from then on in, but um, I definitely caught her with some uh, great shots in there tonight, but uh, credit to her, she's uh, very, very tough, very durable, and um, it was a great fight. You looked great in there, and there were eyebrows raised in the build-up about the quick turnaround, but the freshness seemed to be, I don't know, fresher than ever. Yeah, I felt great. Um, I went back to Connecticut straight away after my, my last fight to start training with Ross, and we knew we wouldn't have taken this fight if we didn't think we were going to be in, in great shape. Um, it was a tough, uh, you know, a very, very busy year for me training-wise, but I think I performed best when I'm actually fighting regular. I'd fight every month if I could, if Eddie, if Eddie would let me. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk We'll talk after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no more before Christmas, surely. <laughs> Trainer Ross, anyway, just how happy are you with Katie's performance tonight? And uh, what do you want to do moving forward? I thought she looked great. Great variety, good head shots, body shots. Uh, I mean, Gutierrez was obviously tough as nails, but... I think Katie did everything she could do. She hit her with just about everything you could hit her with. Um, great all-around performance. The people that were raising eyebrows don't know what they're talking about, obviously, so that's why we don't listen to them. <laughs> just a chance for you to have your say here. Katie wants legacy fights. In your opinion, what is a legacy fight? Who's out there that could be a potential opponent? I mean, there's a lot of girls out there, whether it's, you know, Serrano stops ducking or there's, you know, there's plenty of girls at 130, 135, 140, so, I mean... I think you know everybody who's out there as well as everybody else. So, you know, wh whoever wants to step up, I guess. I'm just going to do a live substitution. So, thank you, Ross. If Eddie, yeah, if you yeah. can come in. Same question to you. Um, if I could push you, what is a legacy fight for Katie Taylor? What do you want to do moving forward? I'm going to give Katie a chance to answer that as well. I just think there's no fight that she wouldn't take. You know, she wants to push the boundaries. She does want to fight all the time. I thought it was a brilliant performance, the variety. I thought uh, she looked so much fresher. You know, it was a quick turnaround. She's on me all the time to fight non-stop. And uh, you joke about Christmas. She will be asking to fight before <laughs> Christmas as well. But you know, there isn't anyone she wouldn't fight. You can go through them. I mean, you know, like Ross said, we've tried for the Serrano fight. We love the winner of Brackhouse against McCaskill. That's the undisputed welterweight championship. Um, you know, you've got Chantel Cameron, I think, will be undisputed soon at 140. That's a big fight in 2021 as well. Uh, Natasha Jonas is up there. Terry Harper could come up from 130. Uh, when, when she's become undisputed, you've got Michaela Meyer could come. I mean, there is just so many challenges. But the great news is she won't duck one of them. You know, it's literally you couldn't rec you couldn't suggest a fight that she would say no to. So, but she does want to push the boundaries. Cyborg is a great fight. You know, we know it's a, a crossover fight with MMA. But honestly, there are so many different options. And the great thing is, not just with Katie, but in women's boxing, no is not really an answer that the champions give. And I just feel like I said earlier, I want to see an undisputed champion in every weight class. Katie's done it, you know, McCaskill's done it, Shields has done it. And I think we should see it so often. She's a great example. She's the greatest to ever do it in women's boxing. And, and we're just starting out. You know, I believe she's got four, five, six, I don't want to put a number on it because she has a go at me, but you know, so many more years to come. No one has ever boxed like Katie Taylor in the female code. You know, the movement, the shot selection, the bodywork, the head, and the discipline that she, get, she, she applies to her camp life, to her career. She's a, you know, I don't embarrass her, but she's an absolute role model to every young individual, male, female, it doesn't matter. If you dedicate yourself to your passion, to your dream, you can make it. And there's not a day goes by where she's not thinking about improving. Ross, Brian, Bridget, the team, this has been an amazing journey. Four years ago, nearly, we were in the same building for her debut. I didn't know what I was doing. You know, we were just sitting there and we were worrying out who was going to go. 
Now you've seen three female world championship fights headline a card here. And she's a global star, global star. Field arenas in Madison Square Garden, Boston, Philadelphia, you know, Millennium Stadium, Wembley Stadium, even here behind closed doors, fight camp in the garden. She's done it all, but we've got so much more to do with Katie Taylor, so much more to do with women's boxing. And I'm going to stop talking now, but I could no, do it all night. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. because I love it. I love it. I have a passion for it. Because when she came into the office that day with Brian Peters, I only had a meeting out of respect because she was a legend of the amateur game and what she's achieved. But sometimes you meet people that just make your desire burn inside to just be a small part of her journey and just help her create a legacy and secure her dreams. And every day on the Katie Taylor journey, it is a joy. It is a joy. I want to thank Sky Sports for their unbelievable support of women's sport and women's boxing. Huge audience tonight. We're, no, we're nowhere near where we need to be. But the moves we've made in four years, see us in another four years, and it, and it, is, it is down to her. I thought you said you were going to stop talking, so you've thrown me there, but <laughs> Katie, no pressure to follow that, yeah. but <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, said it, Eddie said it right, four years ago the journey started here, where's this journey going next in your opinion? Uh, I feel like um, we're just going to get better and better over these next few years, uh, as Eddie and Ross said, or there's no shortage of big fights out there. Um, it is all about legacy for me. I keep, I keep mentioning that word legacy and I feel like I'm saying the same things over and over again, but it is all about legacy. I just want to make history in this sport and, um, and I just want to inspire you know, the next generation. And, um, but yeah, you're, you, people still haven't seen the best thing. I'm going to still improve. I'm going to get better and better. And, and I can't, this has been the most exciting um, journey so far these last four years. And so grateful, Eddie, for everything um, you've given women's boxing this platform. And here we are. Um, women's boxing is on fire right now because of um, because of the platform that, that he's given us. Massive. Well done. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>